Number one, Duke of Spin wins his first race on the high felt for his new conditioner, Mike DeCock, and it's jockey Warren Kennedy who gets him home in a tight battle with the favourite Captain Flint, but he's got his nose down where it matters. He took off late, Warren, and obviously looking for a bit further, but lovely individual, and uh, when he went down to the start, he kind of caught the eye. I just thought maybe he's looking for a bit more ground, and I think um, the 16, obviously, the pace suited him today. Yeah, you hit the nail on the head. Jules definitely was looking for further. I think stroke of genius from Mr. Cock being in the 16. He's been off for a long time. Uh, so, yeah, he got going very late, but always gaining momentum, always going to fetch them. Just had to get his head down at the right time. Well, you've done the job and you've done it well. So, congratulations to you. Yeah, thanks very much, Jules. Uh, thanks to Mr. Cock, to Matt, to Johnny for all the, for the support, and obviously to Mr. McLean. Well done. Obviously, gave you a nice feel because um, he went down to the start beautifully. So, he gave you a bit of confidence. Yeah, he did. He went down quite nicely. You know, um, Mr. De Kock just said he, he, he can be a bit shuffly, and he went down reasonably well, so I just gave him a good trot behind the start to warm him up a bit. And in the race, striding beautifully, unwound really nicely. So, yeah, can look forward to a bit of fun. Congratulations. Anything else from your side today? You've got some nice rides coming up still. Yeah, Jules, I think I'm competitive throughout. It's, it's not an easy card. It is quite competitive, but um, I've got squeaks here and there, so we're just hoping for the best. Well done. Thank you. Congratulations. Well done to you, Mike. Nice to have a horse like this coming up from KZN, and uh, he's put up a good performance here on the half field today. Yeah, he had, uh, we were quite confident today. You know, he's, um, uh, he's got some useful form in, in KZN, and um, Dave's been very patient with him. Uh, you know, he's had a couple of issues we've had to sort of nurse him through. Um, you know, he still doesn't move as well as I'd like him to, although he actually I was quite surprised at how well he went down today. Um, but, you know, uh, you've got to have patient owners. And uh, I'm lucky in, uh, with Dave. He's uh, been very patient. I said to him, look, you've got a nice one, yeah, but you're going to have to wait. And I don't think he's a horse we can race too often, although it depends on how he pulls up. But um, well done to Dave. Uh, thanks for the patience. And uh, I think he's a horse that can be followed. I think he's a reasonable horse. Also. I think in the 1600, I know you've done your job by bringing him back to the 16 today because he's come off a bit of a rest. But I think that's on its short side for him in f for the future. Definitely Duke of Marmalade, Fort Bud Mare, he must want 10 furlongs at least. Uh, however, his last start over 1600 wasn't that bad to uh, Pilo on the on the poly uh, leading, which is something I didn't want to see today. I said to Warren, whatever you do, you've got to give this horse cover. We need to teach him, you know, to run on. You've come, you've got one or two nice runners coming up and, uh, no, it's a bit later on, so you've got a bit of a wait. But uh, Calhoun and um, I think it's Ominous coming up in the 10th. Yeah, I, I think um, I would like to have had a run into Garoon last week. I would have been a lot more confident this week. Um, he's a horse that's better than a maiden. I think... Um, if he doesn't need it too badly, he should run a very good race today. And then the three at the back, uh, I mean, I think there's trial and error there. They, they, um, they three reasonable horses, so we'll see. But I think it's quite a competitive field. Thank you very much. Well done. Cheers. Thank you. Congratulations. Well done to trainer Mike de Kock. Well done to Dave McLean. And well done to winning the Breeders Phosphantine Stud. It's Warren Kennedy who comes through with number one, Duke of Spin, the son of Duke of Marmalade, who opens up the jackpot.